everybody, and welcome back to the Werther's channel. <laughs> Today, it's not the Werther's channel. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing a mukbang. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Oh. It's Korean. Okay. Well, mukbang. I'm not Korean. No, I know, but neither am I. Anywho, today we have a very special guest. <laughs> this is the Werther's <laughs> auntie, you know. Um, As she interrupts. <laughs> really, she's like, let me, let me introduce. Um, and we are going to be doing a mukbang today. Um, this is very exciting because I'm hungry. And um, it's like we're 7 p.m. too. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're gonna be eating dinner and just talking shit about everything, which is gonna be great and exciting. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you want to see us just gorge, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post, and let me know if you like these kinds of videos because this is definitely, I would say, out of my comfort zone, but. I don't really know if eating is out of anybody's That's comfort, in my comfort so, zone. Yeah, exactly. Like this so. is a try-on haul I could get you into. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we are excited. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on into it. Where there's no um, let's just do a pan really quickly so you guys see what we're eating. Chloe, what do we have here? Um, so we have a pumpkin pie blizzard here and then we have the cookie butter pumpkin pie shake here which i've already eaten half of yes and then um onion rings yes they smell freaking amazing we have a bacon cheeseburger um and then we have honey <laughs> barbecue chicken tenders which is a new item uh, oh, yes this is act that's actually what inspired us to even do this in the first no, place it was the apple no pie. i know but let's not talk about that because that was just a disappointment all around anyway okay. chloe didn't get the I apple the pie wrong, blizzard i got the wrong because um, we got the pretzel sticks with queso and then oh, with cheese queso. curds. Oh my gosh. Guys, Are we... Are cheddar cheese curds? You know what they should be? I don't know. You said that you just picked it. Well, I know, it. I know, but they didn't say like what kind of cheese oh. it was. They just said it's curd. No, we literally were like, let's get like 85 things on the menu because we're doing a real mukbang. This is a very spontaneous plan, but we are spontaneous people. So therefore... This is sponsored by ourselves. Oh my god, it's a first impressions, guys. Okay. okay. So they're like white cheese inside, kind of like a crunchy, not a crunchy cheese, but like Okay, wait, where firm, is it? Where is it? Okay. Like a firm cheese with like light batting, like a mozzarella stick that's like a little bit cold because... No, God. This know, is not a blizzard though, this is a shake. That one's a shake, yeah. I actually think I like the consistency of that better. Oh my God, I can't get over these cheese curds. What is this called? Um, pumpkin cookie butter shake. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Guys, by the way, all of this, <laughs> Chloe's like, I fully expect this to be like $75 and I'm not even mad at it. And she texts me, she goes, yeah. Hold on, it was $34. What a steal. And it was like, what? Like, Dairy Queen is where it's at. Honestly. And I, I have never eaten like Dairy Queen food before. And me I don't either. think there are YouTube mukbangs or at least a lot that I'm aware of that are like Dairy Queen. Yeah. I feel like they're all like canes or like, I don't know, like Jack in the Box or like Taco Bell. Like, yeah. who goes to Dairy Queen for food? Well, you know what I was thinking on the way over here? What a terrible, what is it? Mukbang? Mukbang? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Yeah. If you did it in and out. Because I was driving, I was like, oh, in and out's cool. And then I was like, oh, they have two things on the menu. Right? Like, they just have burgers and fries. Yeah, and shakes. Right? Yeah. Oh, they have shakes there? Mm -hmm. okay. Like this video if you want a part two. Maybe we can do something different. Why? You people like Dairy Queen. I'm sure it's not fun to like watch us eat. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Literally, the most what's some of the most popular videos on the internet? No, I feel like it's those kids playing with toys. What kids playing with toys? You haven't heard that? It's no. like Ryan or something. Oh like yeah! A little, Literally a millionaire, right? It just scared your dog. Oh, stunning. No, Doesn't this look like a like a a glizzy? A what? If you're on TikTok, you know what that is. What is a glizzy? It's just basically like a sausage. Why do they call it that? It's apparently a thing. I don't know how. I don't make the rules. I just know that that's what it's called. And okay. uh, yeah. So, um, okay. Is onion this like onion Texas onion. toast? Okay, onion I think that's onion. just like a slice of white bread. That they just tried to make fancy. Oh, okay. By the way, this is not part of the mukbang or like the dairy. It's part of the mukbang, but it's not from Dairy Queen. I don't think they have a liquor license, so therefore... They should, though. They should. This you is my own tequila lemonade, so... A boozy shake? Yeah, like, um, you know who has boozy shakes? Um, Holstein's at Cosmo. Mmm. And also, that, I think, Black, Black Tap, Tap or something? Mm -hmm. Which I've never been, but it looks super aggressive. So do you have two Gizzies? I have one. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not mad at anything on this table. Those cheese curds are like a very pleasant surprise. Yeah, you like the cheese curds. I don't think the glizzies are bad. 
Oh, I don't like those. I wouldn't get those again. But I think that it's it's only because they have the queso. Like mm -hmm. they knew that they had to have the queso with it. Otherwise, like it would be a flop. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, but I also think that they could like skip corners with the pretzel because they're like, well, the queso will make up for yeah, the yeah. flavor. Yeah, true. Facts. What about the onion rings? I had one. Do you want me what? to have another one? Yeah. I thought we were just doing our first impressions oh, that people okay. want to know in real time. Yes. This is my first time eating Dairy Queen, and yours too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure people are watching this like, where have you lived? I, I did not grow up with Dairy Queen. I lived in- I told you, the first one I- the only one I'd ever been to was in Canada. And you're Canadian, so I'm like, it's like a Canadian it? thing. No, it's not. Yeah, it is! It is not. No, it is! No, I have to look that up. There's no end. It's literally a Canadian thing. Two hours later. Hmm. And I was like, what an interesting- Found it in Illinois. Oh, okay. I fact-checked you and you are wrong. There's like no Dairy Queens in California. It's like very upsetting. So this is a box of um, basket of strips. Mm hmm The basket. All that in a basket of strips. Okay. Can't you tell? I guess, but it looks like a box to me. No, I agree. I was being sarcastic. Oh. I mean, it's good. It's good. I like that it's not dry at all. Mm hmm So I would definitely give it major points just for that. I like the idea of the burger because I love bacon. Yeah, yeah. But it was just like... When was the last time you bought pimento cheese? Oh gosh, I have some in Travis <coughs> fridge right now. So you like... You put me on to pimento cheese. It's so good. It's so good. It's like too good. You yeah. know what I got though? Pub cheese at Trader Joe's. Oh my god, yes. It's like, that's like the port wine cheese, right? It's like the orange and reddish swirl usually. No. I'm excited for nothing. No, I got the <coughs> It's like whipped kind of. Yeah. And it's no, orange. it's not. It's not. It's what color orange. is it? It's just orange, but it has. I get the ones with chunks of jalapeno. Okay, I think I don't know what you're talking about. But you were talking about a swirl, and I don't know what swirl you're talking about. Comment your favorite Dairy Queen Blizzard down below. Mm. I'd love to know, they're especially turtle? their seasonal ones. Their turtle ones good. Mm. Stunning. How did my spoon get on the ground? I don't know. I haven't been over there. What's like the weirdest <laughs> thing you've like ever eaten? Um. I don't, I'm not super adventurous, so maybe cow tongue. Oh yeah, a cream barbecue. That's not adventurous at all. That was a taco. I didn't have it at cream barbecue. Oh, I don't know. I would always say for me, will be frog or like shark fin soup, which I know is illegal, but. Have you eaten cat? No. Uh, no, like I won't, no, I won't eat cat. No, no. Like no. rabbit? No, no, I won't. No? Mm -mm. I feel like rabbit's <coughs> kind of like. <coughs> Along the line of pets. I don't know. It's not even like eating veal or like <coughs> or like um um venison mm -hmm. or um lamb. Yeah. I don't really like. Wait, veal is baby cow, right? Mm -hmm. Different from lamb. Yeah, I don't really yeah. like eating like cute animals, and I know it's like kind of fucked up because like we're like all animals or whatever. But I really liked shark fin soup, but I know it's illegal and super in super inhumane. When I was growing up. And we would go to restaurants back in the 90s and when it wasn't illegal, I would eat it all the time and I really liked it. No, I don't. Oh my God, can I tell you? So you know how I told you I was like irritated today? Oh yeah, oh my God. So, you know what? <coughs> I think it started off with the fact that I ate an unripened avocado. And I was like, that's, that's all it. it takes? Honestly, like I was like, my day is shot after this. Because you know when you buy avocados in like a bag or something? Uh -huh. And you think like, okay, these all <coughs> were harvested around the same time, therefore mm -hmm. they're all you know, edible, whatever, at the same time. And they all should be ripened at the same time. So, that was my bad. I had two avocados that were fine over the past couple of days. And so I break open this one and I notice it's like harder, but then you know when you like cut it and you're like, okay, maybe I'll like try to like mash, it'll be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. So I cut it and then I literally could not mash it on my toast. Like I was like fucking like put a fucking meat grinder on top. Like that shit would not mash. And I was just standing there like where there's with the camera and I was like pounding my bread. Like it's aggressive. It was literally like shit was flying everywhere. Like I was afraid like the fucking fork would like ricochet back into my face because it was so hard. And I was just like, oh my god, this is This, this feels not really it. dramatic. And no, it was literally like if you saw me this morning, like that's literally what I did. And I was just like, oh my god. And I bought actually I went to Home Goods and I bought mm -hmm. an avocado like holder for your um second half your second half, like if you don't oh, yeah, use yeah. it right away. So I put it in there because I was like, fuck it. Like, I am not going to be able to eat the other half. Like, this half is already gone. Like, whatever. I'm no turning back. So I had to fucking eat 
a hard avocado on my toast because I don't want to like waste it. Yeah, I can't throw stuff out. Yeah, especially since avocados are expensive. Mm -hmm. Like I am not wasting that. It's not one like whole dollar. Oh, fuck go. For me, it's more of the hassle of going to the store and having to get an avocado. Yeah, like waste not, want not, like whatever. So I mean, did I want it though? No, I didn't. But I was just like whatever. So I to, I made two pieces of bread. I was like fuck. Like I'm gonna have to eat. Do something with the second one. So I made peanut butter toast instead, which is like much better. But I'm just like, there, you know, there's like some things that you do and like you can't like not think about. Like to all day today, I have not stopped thinking about chewing. I don't know if you've like ever done this, but like a hard piece of avocado. And the texture is so like hard. Yeah, but it's like, it's like debilitating like you think like i'm not even being dramatic this I was is like, so dramatic no like, i was a whole story over a hard avocado i was literally i'm telling you got my table on the wrong foot and then people were trying one of my favorite quotes from you is when we cut into like the most perfect avocado like i oh, cannot private school i cannot articulate how beautiful this avocado is like sometimes you just cut it open and you're like the perfect gradation green on the outside light green to yellow on the inside yeah. like just perfect mash as well and ashley just turns me and goes that avocado definitely went to private school well, i don't know why like it's the funniest stuff to was me. it when we were at your house i think we were here oh we were air frying yes. Yes yes, yes 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 so now like whenever travis or i like open up a good avocado like he'll say he'll be like oh that that avocado went to private school I'm honestly like, oh, it's so fucking good. good and the shitty thing too that this avocado looked like it went to private school from the outside like no like you cut it open and it was oh. like perfect and oh. so i was like okay this is promising and then like fuck me like no it wasn't and it was it's literally like oh my god i could not think of a more perfect analogy to like a fuck boy looks good on the outside, on the outside right yeah you don't really and then like once you start getting once into you it want to use it yeah it's it yeah. literally like not what it seems you down. yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I feel that. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. This is, how is this regular size? That felt like a lot to be regular. Are you serious? The fact that this is regular and this is large, this seems like small and medium. What? There's, I guess that is the small. I think regular is small. What? That does not make sense. Why does that not make sense? Because if but it's small, But you think Starbucks sizes make sense? Well, it's like a different language, right? No, haven't you? There's that one movie with Paul Rudd, and he's like, Venti is 20. No. Yeah. What, what movie? Like, it, I don't know. Something. Grande means large. No, Grande is medium. In Starbucks language, yes. But in real language, Grande is large. No, I'm tall. Yeah, and then Venti is 20. I think that's Italian for 20. 20? Yes. So anyway, there's a movie scene where Paul Rudd is like, I'll take a medium, and she's like, you mean a grande? And he's like, no, I mean a medium. And then she's like, it's a grande. It's something like that. And then he's like, what? grande means large, what is, and venti means 20. But why would we say 20 for like a large? I think it's something like 20 ounces. Mm. Although I think the ventis are 16. No, grandes are 16. Okay, so then maybe then So maybe it is 20 ounces. That would make sense. It's like drove over. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what a throw! Did that happen or did that happen? Yeah, that was pretty impressive. That was, that was stunning. For those of you that couldn't see it, which is everyone, um, threw the tennis ball, hit the dog's head, my bounced off of the dog's head onto- Wait, I did a bounce off her head? Yeah. Oh, did it, did it, because they're snout. Yeah. And on then the hit the shaker that was on the counter and knocked it off the counter. Yeah. Luckily, I had already uh, poured that into my uh, my little handy glass right here. So I'm, I'm getting haircuts Sunday. And stuff. Oh, are you? How, how how short should I cut my hair? I oh, always I always ask them to my armpit. Really? Yeah. And then I think it's so short. And then the lady's like, "Dude, that's still considered long hair." I'm like, "Are you serious? This is considered yeah. short for me." The thing is, is like, I'm always like, "Oh, am I gonna like pull the plug one day and go like super short?" But then it'll show no. my man's shoulder. <laughs> I feel like you say that, and no one would even notice. It's honestly like I feel like tennis. Excuse me. It's like one of those sports that like is so deceivingly like difficult yeah i think golf is one of those sports you're like oh it's you're just hitting the ball yes do you think it's a sport or do you think it's a hobby why are you asking me this 
Yeah, I think it's a sport. Really? Yeah. Why? It's in the Olympics. Just kidding. Is does, it? That mean, does that make it a sport if it's yeah. in the Olympics? I feel like yes. But, okay, I guess what I constitute Back sport... Back check. What I constitute a sport is like aerobic activity, right? So like, if are you sweating when you're playing golf? If it's hot outside, well, yeah. Yeah, but if I'm standing there clearly and it's like, oh, I'm going to be sweating. I think if it's in the Olympics, it's for sure a sport. The thing, okay, I I think, and I'm not knocking anybody who plays golf because I have respect for you and I know it takes a lot of skill, but I guess it's just, I think in my opinion, a sport something where you like burn calories. <laughs> I'd like to watch you swing a golf club and then no, it's not a sport. I know it's like difficult, but like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I play water polo. <laughs> You're like, it's not intense enough. All the people in the comments. I play golf and golf is a sport. And like, yeah, you're valid. I'm on your side. Difference just, of opinion. Just understand there's a wall here. Okay, I don't think hobbies are bad though. Like, I don't think hobbies. Yeah, but I think golf is still a sport. It's both. As any. Okay, what if like crocheting was in the Olympics? Would you consider that a sport? Yeah, if it's in the Olympics, it's a sport. Why though? Why? I don't know because those Why? are just the Why? rules of the Olympics. This <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that golf doesn't require skill or that golf isn't difficult or that golf is something to be taken lightly. I know it's like freaking hard, but like, do I think it's a sport? Like, I think it's questionable. Like, same as like. I'm on to something here, okay? Okay, what? The definition of sport. Oh my god. Is that um, it says through casual organized participation. What just happened? She ran, she tripped over the ring away. Maintain or improve out. physical abilities and skill. So golf is improving skill. Oh man. Oh fuck, here. What do you want me to do with it now? What, what, what <laughs> was it supposed to be for? It was supposed to be for the tenders. The are you serious? Yeah. But the tenders already have barbecue sauce. I know, but do you not put like buffalo chicken tenders and ranch? I mean, I'm surprised you didn't get blue cheese. Oh no, did I not bring my water in? You did, it's right there. Oh. It's literally right next to you. Yeah. What, what about blue cheese? Oh, they didn't, didn't have blue cheese. cheese. What did you ask? Um, no, but I could read. What did you think between the two shakes? I think, well, you know I like the pumpkin You'd pie have, blizzard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually, I really like this one though. I know. I really I think, like it, yeah. I like the consistency of it, it's yeah. like blended. And it's more, it's like malty. I bought these giant ice cube trays on the recommendation of the first day I went, I like went over, I was like, oh my God, like, giant ice cubes he's like yeah you should get them on the amazon and i was like that's genius because i make iced coffee like almost every single day oh yeah and so They're i like bought the size of this cup yeah so i bought him i bought like a bunch of mason jars i fucking broke oh, one body. yeah oh, okay. i fucking broke one trying to stuff a giant ice cube in there it was it was honestly disheartening and i was like i i don't know why but a part of me just couldn't accept that the ice cube like physically would not fit into said You're like, no, jar. it's gonna work. Yeah, because you know, when you buy things for that exact purpose and like you're determined yeah. to like see it through. Yeah. So I was just like, when I got it, I was like, oh my God, it's in there. And then it was like, <sighs> like literally, it was like so Is that depressing. because you put the coffee in? No, it was literally just mason jar, large ice cube, wouldn't fit past like the hole. You know what I saw that like when you crack up? Have you seen those was like- Was it a Shiba Inu? Have you seen those videos of like the riddles and stuff where it's like, okay, smell, s smell, spell, roast, spell, no. most. Okay, this will be good then. Okay, spell the word roast. Oh my god. <laughs> S H I. <laughs> I'm trying to beat the system. I think she just had a stroke. <laughs> Let's try that again. R O A S T. Okay, spell the word most. Oh, I've seen these. I've seen these. I don't think you can pull me. M O S T. You know what I just randomly thought of? And you can get back to this. What are you photoshopped? Were those head on Lady Gaga? No, but that too. When you put like my like my smile on Neff or whatever in the Christmas. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm crying. I feel like there's one more word. Ugh. I'm already gonna ruin this. I have to just like. You're gonna look it up. Yeah. Boo! Boo! Fail! What? I want to do it right. Okay, I've already messed this up. So. <laughs> um, how do you spell coast? C-O-A- How did you pull it up so fast? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, C-O-A-S-T. Perfect. How do you spell post? P-O-S-T. What do you put in a toaster? 
bread. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I may this play the it. fool at times, but uh. When I used to work graveyard shift at the hotel, the bellman that was there on on night shift with me would literally leave me post-it notes of riddles, no taking. What about like limericks? A what? A limerick. I know I've heard of that. I just don't know what it is. Oh my god, Neff didn't either. So I literally wrote limerick on a post-it and he put it on his desk, and it's like still there. But usually the limerick, like limerick, like what I know of as a limerick is like not tea. Have you been to the um, like roasting like restaurant? Like the one oh, where like you go last resort. Is that what it's called? I, I think that's one of them. I don't know if there's a the one. The one, I think, is that at like uh, Tropicana or whatever? Yeah, there probably is one there. Yeah, where they basically like insult you. Yeah, they go, That's like their job. Why would they do that? I would love to work somewhere like that. I know, yeah. You're a bus driver. At the first stop, four people get on. At the second stop, eight people get on. Okay. At the third stop. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So you have four on and hey. eight on. Yeah. At the third stop, two people get off. So okay. subtract two. Yeah. At the fourth stop, everyone got off. Okay. The question is, what are the bus driver? What color are the bus driver's eyes? I fucking hate these, man. They fucking use like like equations as like a fucking like cover up or whatever. Yeah. There's nothing in this at face value that could possibly give you the answer. Yeah, I'll read it again. Are you serious? Like really? You were the bus driver. Wait, okay. Are you serious? Like it's like literally in there? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Literally like says my eye color or my eye color, right? You're the bus driver. Yeah, it's my... Oh wait, my eye color is brown. <laughs> I think I said you are the bus driver like six times, and then you confirmed I am yeah, the bus driver. I, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my yeah, god! Okay, but how many times did there's it take a you bunch? Do you want to read me? Yeah. How many times did it get, take you to get that though? Oh, I probably a long time. Okay, 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 okay. If a plane crashes on the border of the United States and Mexico, where would the survivors be buried? You don't bury. Damn it! I actually, I actually have some. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I shouldn't stop you. Okay, okay. I'm a genius. An old lady in the United States has a heart attack and dials 911. No, I haven't heard this one. No one came and she died. How could this have happened? Wait, an old lady. Sorry, can you read it again? Yeah, go over here slower. <laughs> I mean, it felt pretty slow, but I just. <laughs> an old lady in the United States has a heart attack and dials 911. No one came and she died. How could this have happened? She dialed it, but she didn't call it? Yes! What the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, okay, I never heard that one. Oh my god. Um, I feel like that was- Do you know what your IQ is? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No. I took an aptitude test once. Mine's supposedly high, but clearly it's not. And it was very low. Are you serious? My aptitude test? What's an aptitude test? I'm so dumb, I don't even remember. I just remember that I took it once, and I was like, well, that was insulting. Is this similar to an IQ test? Um, I think it's like a logic test. That's pretty much what an yeah. IQ test is. I find that hard to believe. Yeah, well, I don't know. Very apt. Have a bed, but I never sleep. I have a mouth, but I never eat. Oh, a life. truck. That's similar direction. But it's something that has a bed. A okay. Mouth. I feel like, oh, a river. Yes. Yes! That was good. That was, I remember that one. What is the only coat that is wet every time you put it on? Not a raincoat because sometimes that can be dry. A sauce, no. like a coating. No. Is that paint? Yeah. Is it paint? Yeah. Oh my god! So smart. I feel like that's like the wind, like that feeling that you get after you saw. Yes. Them, that's like what keeps you doing them for sure. What starts with an E and ends with an E, but only has one letter. E. Multiple E. Um. The word letter is more than just one meaning. I, there's not many hints I could give to this that like wouldn't give it away. But this is hard. Yeah, this one was a hard one. This one's hard. The code was much easier. A letter could mean what? A letter in an alphabet. What else could a letter be? I don't know. A letter. Oh, an envelope. Yes. Is it an envelope? B ends of E and ends of the envelope. But say the whole thing over again? What starts with an E and ends with an E but only has one letter. An envelope only has one letter. No, sometimes you can put multiple letters in there. Okay, well the riddle. There's like a, there's a, mm, I'm not exactly sure. Mm. If, if it said
that it could contain <laughs> multiple because not all of them only have one. Yes. Okay. You're on a technicality here, but yes. But it's, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm challenged this bitch. You got the right answer. I don't know why you're. Really I'm just saying, I like answer. identifying loopholes. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> there are six strange. birds in a tree. A hunter shoots one. How many birds are now in the tree? Five. Because <laughs> six <laughs> might. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It could still be in the tree. So six. Zero. But if there's six in the tree, mm -hmm. then how could they, how can there be zero now? Because they flew away with the gunshot. That's not necessarily true. Have you ever heard a loud noise that birds didn't fly out of the tree? Sure, yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Stop filming and we can do this. Okay, guys. So, we're going to keep doing riddles, but um, unfortunately, due to the capacity constraint on my phone, I can't film for much. <laughs> for four hours. It's not reasonable. Four hours. <laughs> But thank you for watching our mukbang um, and our Werther's show. And I hope you enjoyed us just like literally sitting here and just literally like whatever Chloe and I hang we just sit and we just like talk about random shit that just whatever. like comes to mind for like hours. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I like that you gave the name like in the middle of you saying goodbye. Well, no, because like Werther's is like, but like if you want part two. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I actually never say that, but like yeah. if you want a part two, because we definitely like eating. Yeah. So this is definitely feasible for us to do, you know, I mean. Just, just and we is. like riddles and whatever else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And next week, Chloe will uh, be drinking, not her roommate's wine. I think it was your wine. I don't think so. I don't know why I would bring over a bottle. I think Christmas. your mentor, I think your mentor gave it to you and you're like, I brought this. And I was like, oh, I have a wine. A good one. Oh, because we're really bad. Oh. Anywho, see, thank you for watching, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I have to talk closer here because Worthers is demanding my attention to go get her the ball. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.